Good morning. Happy Monday. So I am here with a project that I am going to commit, persist, and complete by the end of the week. This is going to be like a three-ish, five-ish part mini series on how to get our bedroom together. So if you guys don't know, which you probably don't because this is a new family channel that, but I, you know, the people that do subscribe to me on my beauty channel know that I recently got married and when I say recently, I mean, we are kind of basically still newlyweds we got married this year at the beginning of the year but we are about to celebrate one year together but we basically had a merging of the houses <laughs> so we are we have been renovating basically all year uh new floors new you know a lot of new stuff kitchen uh, basically the entire house the only thing we have left is our the carpeting in the bedrooms we decided to go hardwood with the entire home with the exception of the bedrooms they are going to be um we're going to get you know new carpet in the bedrooms and a lighter color this we actually merged into hubby's home and you know like most men <laughs> there was no woman's touch now that he's been graced with a home uh full of women we are you know, putting our touches on. Um, definitely leaving, you know, parts of him in the home, um, but also bringing a lot of us. More of me, the queen. So this, this morning I woke up and I was just feeling inspired to get this room together. I really don't wanna go into the new year in a lot of just clutter, um, and things you know just small things we basically slowed down a little bit because of the holidays you know you have gift giving you have a lot of things that you're doing just you know with the family and being out and about or what have you and so we will resume probably uh spring of next year with the biggies countertops um some things in the yard um you know stuff like that Completing more of the light fixtures. We changed the light fixtures and stuff ceiling fans and chandeliers downstairs um, You know, we're gonna wait to get furniture um, next year um, My furniture and his furniture is basically still downstairs uh, We are gonna keep a few pieces and then we're going to probably get uh, new furniture for the dining area and the den a new beds in our room we have a king size right now, but we think we probably will go down uh, to that would be queen. But anyway, that's a few months down the line. So today I figured, you know what, let me see what I can work with. No, I'm going to work with what I have. And then I'm going to give myself a test. I did a lot. I've been on Pinterest a lot recently. And I've been wanting to see how I can get kind of a Pinterest, you know, get bring Pinterest into my home, but on a budget. So I'm setting a limit for myself to redo the room and the office area at $150. So let's take a last look at what it looks like now. And then by Friday, possibly sooner, but at least by Friday, we're going to see what I came up with. So quick tour, room tour. This is real life, people. This weekend has been serious, though, because <laughs> the wedding and, and all that. Um, but basically, this is our room. It's clean sometimes. Sometimes it's not. There is a chair in here. This is from the office of my old um, spot, my, my place that we moved from. I was really trying not to part with it because I love it. Um, and so we just kind of stuck it here. It was originally in our office, um, in the office here. And then we brought it over here because when we opened up our store, we needed to, um, have a place to, uh, put the clothes. So we found another place to put the clothes 
and it's still in here so i will see what's going on with that um, i have my notebook out already because i'm taking notes on what i'm going to go out today and kind of start to look for uh, <clears throat> excuse me but i'm going to figure out this this situation here though to make better use of this space um curtains i would like to put some curtains up possibly i don't know what kind of curtains yet and this lamp shade is over here right now because we had matching lamps this lamp here which is now on the floor um i have my two workstations <laughs> um but this lamp here actually was in the office 15 minutes ago and because the lighting fixtures downstairs the doors here all of these have been changed to like a brush nickel type um you know finish and i'm going that's the theme in the whole house that i'm going for so that's why this is here this was the lampshade cover that was on there but i switched it to the lampshade cover that we have um had in here and i like it better so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out we're going to look for another lamp for hubby to kind of go with this one i'm not going to buy a new new one I was trying to stick with the match, you know, the matching, but you know what? If if it's the same, you know, finish, I'm okay. And kind of similar, I'll be okay. So that's why that situation is going on there. This is a new bedspread cover here that we have, um, which is gorgeous. But um, I don't know. I may I may change it to another one that I bought recently. All of these clothes here are here today because it is Monday. It's laundry day. So everything is pulled out over here we have my beautiful niece yaya um but this is my beauty station basically and that lamp that you just saw actually was over here too it was over here and then it was in the office and now it's on on the nightstand but this is where the magic happens <laughs> this is probably going to stay here but i definitely want to change this mirror because and this lamp but this mirror because i got this from kirkland's but this is like a clown mirror or a fun mirror and so it has like ripples in it and i did not realize that when i bought it um and i hate it so it's probably going to be decor somewhere else in the house at some point but i probably won't be replacing it right now because i want a nice one and remember my budget is two 150 so I'm gonna, you know, tidy this back up because hubby actually straightened this for me last week. And I want to definitely respect the fact that I love that he does these things for me. So we come over here to the office slash beauty, the store, the storage for the, <laughs> the store. We have another television in here and this is my workspace. This is where that lamp was. We have another lamp here so i want to get one or two other um, different you know tall lamps because these don't go they're just kind of what we had um so as i stated earlier we found a different place to put the clothes the clothes for the store we had a big rack here um and so now that it's gone and hubby has left the room for me to basically get together <laughs> so over here is hubby's desk if you saw a previous uh vlog last week he already showed you his area where he works when he's working from home and then this is my area so this is the before i have to basically clean this up reorganize what's what's gonna happen here vacuum up this carpet get it spruce it up and then we'll see what we come with, come up with in here. So here's to this week's mini series. Right. So this is where we are now. <laughs> I have stripped the bed, those things, the sheets and stuff are washing. And the basket that was over there full of clothes has now been folded and put up. And these are just clothes, if you remember from the clip um, a minute ago that were just lying and lingering here on this chair. I have reorged everything um, to where belts and scarves are in here versus in a basket that was back there. 
um, so that, you know, just ones that I'm using a lot right now are hanging here. I'm going to find a higher, try to figure out how to put it up here so that um, it's not kind of on the shoes down here. And then, um, so, you know, I'm checking away at this giant a little bit at a time. So I will get to this probably later in the week. So what I'm about to do now is tackle the inside. I'm thinking that once I finish, pull, I'm going to pull everything out of here and figure out what's in here, what should go in here, what we will store in here, items that we don't necessarily need to get every day. Um, and then that's probably what's going to go in here. Um, and then I'm going to tackle our drawer. I stated that I was going to wait to do up here. However, I had a great idea whenever I was cleaning out the trunk. Um, I was putting some of the things that I knew hubby is not wearing right now. Some of his sweaters that I found that were in there. And I figured, you know what? Even though they're winter clothes, there are some clothes that I can't even fit up here. There were some jeans up here that I could not fit. So I just pulled all those things down. Some corduroy pants that I'm just not wearing right now. Some of which I can fit. Some of which I'm just not wearing, like I stated. And I will put those up. Right, let me show you the trunk. So in the drawers, things that we aren't wearing... Like these are like t-shirts and little camisoles here. So they're kind of laid out here on the first row. And then these are just some other t-shirts that I, you still can wear their short sleeve, but I could still wear them like under jackets and blazers and, you know, layer them. So I didn't want to put those up. And if you just remember that this is how I, I do hubby's drawer. Again, this is another Pinterest idea. Um, so this is how everything is. So I don't, I'm showing you that because I'm not going to be able to pull them all out like this when I get to the trunk. This looks like a disarray, but it's not. These are just like silky long sleeve shirts. So I said all that to say when you come over here, using this method really allows for just a whole lot more room that's where I am now and then these are just some other clothes that I'm just trying to find a place for um, but really my focus at this point in time is to um, figure out where to put clear this area I need to clear this area I want to clear this area today and then that's probably gonna be it for Monday so these are my babies back here. They are about to get washed and trimmed and cut for the holidays. Sugar is back there on in the box in the in the um, thing because she doesn't know how to keep still. Basically, y'all hear her? And Shadow behaves perfectly. Look at her back there. They're about to be dropped off. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. So it is Thursday, so as you can see here, the bench is gone, so I put the bench over here, and 
um, I've already changed out one of the lamps. I'm going to get another one over here, but I'm going to decide I'm going to get that later. Um, and then I remember I stated I was going to install some borders here, but I changed my mind. So you guys will see what I found, which is a great find in Home Goods um, alternative. And then I said I wanted curtains. So we got those finally after going all over the place looking so we have so much more room I'm gonna find some kind of rug here um, so this apparently is going to extend beyond this week because I've also been Christmas shopping so I started cleaning off this here you guys know how that looked on Tuesday on Monday <laughs> so I have to do a lot of dusting now um, and that's on the schedule for tomorrow and then this is on the schedule for tomorrow and then I'm gonna show you guys in my planner that I've been using all week how I put put out everything this week and I actually checked everything off today I actually did a good job and there's shadow hey shadow and E is somewhere but I don't know where he is in the house all right stay tuned so these are the curtains that I got from home goods um, they were about 30 bucks and they are just gorgeous okay the theme in this room is pretty much teal so I decided that I'm gonna go with chocolate and teal so these are the back hooks look at that that's so cute and then these are the curtain rods <laughs> by Bombay and I found these in Marshall's actually um, I tell you that Marshall's TJ Maxx and Home Goods will hook you up okay so I just need to go find some tools to <laughs> get this stuff together I just need to get some tools and then um, I'm gonna get it started